Here is a short practical demonstration of the significant figure rule for multiplication and division. Let's say we have the density and volume of an object and we want to find the mass. Multiply the values together and we get 112.5588 grams. Unlike addition and subtraction, we look at the digits and the numbers used. There are 4 in the density and 3 in the volume, yet the answer has 7 so some came out of nowhere. The only way to guarantee that answer to 7 digits is if the missing digits in the density and volume are zeros. But we don't really know what they are, and for each digit there is a 1 in 10 chance it is truly zero, which results in a 1 in 10 million chance that all of them are. Those odds also reflect the likelihood the 7 digit answer is actually correct. So what do we do? Since we don't know the 7th digit in all values, we do not keep it in the answer. Same goes for the 6th, 5th, and 4th. This means we report the mass as 112 grams, but depending on the application of rounding rules, 113 grams is acceptable too. In short, when multiplying and dividing, report the answer to the fewest number of digits known in all values.